So hi, my name is Prince, uh, Prince Cradell. Um, I joined NDT in 2013. Uh, so technically I've been here for eight years, not too short, not too long. The thing that made me fall in love with dancing, um, I would say is I started dancing from a very young age uh, and it was uh, sort of an uh, extracurricular thing to do. Um, and then I would say probably from like eight or nine, falling in and out of love with it, you know, learning, uh, learning how much it took and sort of the training becoming more intense in whatever way. Uh, but yeah, I've, in other words, I started dancing from a young age and I'm still with it. My name is Lydia. I entered NDT2 in 1999. Um, I was there for two years and then they offered me a contract for NDT1. Since then I've been there, so about almost 23 years working for the company. When I was little, I went to karate. Uh, my father was a karate master and I loved it. And I, that's all I wanted to do, really. But I was not very disciplinary. I was very small, I was little, and I just wanted to play around with the other kids, and I was biting once in a while. <laughs> so <laughs> my father told me to basically quit karate, and there was a school right next to the dojo. Uh, so I tried out, and I remember being basically crying every day. I didn't want to dance. I really didn't want to dance. It was very strict for me, for my creative mind, and I had a lot of trouble, but then suddenly we did this uh, end of school year performance, and when I went on stage, I felt something I never felt before. And since then, I just wanted to dance. <laughs> I found some kind of liberation uh, in the moment I step on stage. It's very hard to explain, but I was very shy and the stage somehow made me feel sort of in a bubble, as if no one was watching when it's exactly the opposite. I think now I am really, really in love with dance, I think more than ever. And I think that's why it's time for me to let it go. I think I reached that moment where it's just so beautiful and honest and the purity, the essence, and I don't want anything to spoil it anymore. For me, I feel it um, too in a, in a sort of basic way of, I see a new generation. Um, I see all of this, um, potential and opportunity to learn uh, for myself and also for the new generation. And so I'm curious in learning how that goes and what that next chapter is. Um, just, uh, I mean, for me, NDT has always been so special because of um, the team, you know? And so being able to actually continue with Lydia and um, with others, it's really, um, I think that there's, this amazing potential <laughs> to, to continue. I would say I'm still in love with dancing. Um, it's, it's one thing to be moving on from dancing in NDT1, but um, I think that I still view myself as, as a dancer, as an artist, and that's something that uh, it doesn't just go away. For me, um, it was sort of natural, this, this uh, transition into uh, rehearsal director of NDT2, because I've taught before uh, in NDT to different uh, dancers, also in the summer intensive or workshops we've done on tour. But also being a mother, I think, is something very natural to want to um, support younger generation. And I think it comes very natural to me. Also, I feel like I had my career, you know, that was it. Now I think it's time for generosity and 
giving back. Yeah, my interest in the new career path that I've taken, which is um, at NDT now I'm working with, um, as a policy advisor for diversity and inclusion and also um, in the education department. Um, so I would say that uh, I've been developing these interests sort of uh, throughout the course of my career through studying while um, performing. And so it's, it's taken place over a course of years. Um, but this path uh, with NDT, it's actually been something that I've found my way into um, over the past two years. Um, and that's been uh, with the change of direction, also since um, I would say the pandemic, many things have happened. So um, yeah, it's been an opportunity for me to sort of learn and grow. As a dancer, I was really concerned just for myself, not just for myself, but about myself, where I needed to be, or oh, I want to be early, or to warm up, or how my body's doing. Um, and now that's completely gone, sort of. And, uh, and as I said before, it feels that I'm much more responsible for many other people. Uh, so for me, that's like the biggest, clearest difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree. You suddenly, uh, you were responsible for yourself pretty much. Uh, and now we're responsible for a lot of people. <laughs> um, also, I find that when I was a dancer, um, you had to basically go on stage. And that was the moment I felt I could let go of all whatever stress of life I had. Even though, of course, it's, it's very hard work, but there is, there is a moment when we go on stage that we let go of all this. We let go of all this um, blockage, emotional blockage, perhaps. At least that's personally my experience. I feel now I miss that a little bit. Um, also, there is some kind of uh, clearance of mind when you go on stage. And after that, you're so exhausted that you go home, you rest, you, you are sort of in peace, if I may say that. And now I think my head keeps going when I go home. <laughs> 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 and I cannot stop it. And, uh, and I wish I would be physically more tired. In, it's, uh, it's, it is very strange what we miss after. <laughs> yeah. I think the pandemic has established a sort of different idea of what dance will be in the future, I believe. Um, now suddenly we have to be more open to not be actually present on stage, um, but rather through film or um, live streaming, which is something, it is something we've never thought about that would be so necessary. It was more like a choice, artistic choice. And it became a necessity. So there is, a, it is a big change. Also, it's difficult for performers who have performed live on stage all their life to suddenly uh, perform for a camera. It's very different. Um, there is not, uh, the energy doesn't circulate, doesn't go back and forth. It's very much within the stage only. But I believe that every change is good. I think change is part of life. And after 22 years in, in this theater, in, uh, in this company, I've seen so much change happen. And everybody has sort of a fear for change. Of course, me too, everybody, absolutely everybody, but I think that the more you leave change, the more you realize how necessary that is in order to keep evolving. I think we all play a part in this, uh, in this company to make change possible and to make change positive. So yeah, I, I am part of the team, therefore I think I'm part of that change. I think each person individually has to 
aim for their own personal dream. And I think the energy that brings into the studio, the energy of, of wanting to reach that, it actually makes us even more together. I believe very much in that. I don't think it's good to have a vision, but I think each person needs to have their own personal dream to go for in order to have this, this incredible charging, positive energy to keep going as a group. I would definitely agree with that. Um, yeah, and just to, to add something to that, like I feel incredibly um, fortunate to have been able to sort of go through that during my, again, during my short time here, what I view as a short time here. Um, yeah, to have come into contact with with so many different individuals um, and learn from them and, and, and uh, sort of uh, gain, um, gain their experience a bit um, has, been, has been quite amazing. And also to use that to develop myself and my own interests or, um, or even go in my own direction in the studio um, actually has been what I think has kept me here. The good thing about NDT is that we are always exposed to so many different styles, so many different uh, dancers, so many different choreographers. And that per se, it's diversity, right? And, and we feed from each other. And so there is always something that will fit you or you will feel inspired by. I think this has been always NDT. Uh, but this actually brings a risk also. It brings the risk of something not being successful, maybe, or something not being uh, interesting for you personally. But I think that's that's very small price to pay for what it will be all this experimentation and experience. Having been here, um, again, Lydia's been here for 22 years, so she's, she's seen uh, quite, amount, quite an amount of change, whereas I feel that even in the um, eight and a half, nine years that I've been here, um, uh, there have been changes. Uh, and again, I don't mean good, bad, or indifferent. I just mean that, that makes, that's actually made me feel that I have more history here, more connected, more connected uh, to this organization and its legacy and creating, creating a new legacy. I, en I envision, uh, again, at the moment we have um, gender uh, fluid dancers, we have a trans dancer. Um, the company is uh, diverse. It's, it's been more diverse in other ways in the, pa in the past. Um, I think that there's a ton of growth that um, the dance world in general could do um, in terms of um, yeah, diversity and gaining a range of uh, sort of uh, dance makers, theater makers. Um, and I think that that's actually um, beginning to happen more and more. It's not that I'm having this criticism that nothing's happening or that we're moving too slow. Um, so I'm, I would say that that's my, what I envision for the future, more of that. Well, I would say first uh, that it's it's okay to to try different things, um, and it's okay to switch from those things and and to sort of gain different skills. I think that lots of times, being a dancer for many years, we learn that okay, you have to stick with it. Practice makes perfect. All of these sort of mantras. Um, and sometimes being a dancer and trying to learn other things, it can feel um, quite scary um, and shocking. But I would say that um, my advice to dancers would be to, to not, not to be afraid of that and also um, not to worry that if you begin something uh, that you're abandoning it, if you, if you don't fall in love with it immediately, but have faith that um, it's, it's a longer path and maybe you will learn something else and maybe you'll come back to that and have two things that help you see something else. 
I think, like Prince, uh, I think it is important to get other knowledge apart from dancing. I think, first of all, this is going to enrich your career as a dancer, but also it's going to prepare you for whatever decisions you might have to take when your time has come to stop dancing. I also remember when I was when I started my career, uh, one great teacher told me it's very important to know when to stop, and I was thinking that but I just started, <laughs> and now I I really understand what he meant. It's very difficult to let go. It's very difficult to let go because you basically have invested your entire life to this art form. But I think I would remind those dancers that want to stop that they will remain artists. And that is a huge gift for whatever they might want to keep doing later on. So to be encouraged to, to change because artistry doesn't go away, it stays with you. You're not losing anything.